Hey guys, Terry here with the Force Farm Project. Today we're going to show you how to measure your loader bucket when ordering a B expanded piranha tooth bar. You may think, well I've got a 60 inch bucket, I need a 60 inch piranha tooth bar, but that's not always the case. Generally it wouldn't be the case. A 60 inch bucket's probably going to need somewhere near a 58 and a half inch tooth bar measurement. Uh, and they'll ask you for that measurement when you order and they want you to be within a quarter inch of you know the nearest quarter inch of what your actual measurement is and let me show you why it's not if the 60 inch bucket uh, would normally be measured from the outside of the bucket to the outside of the bucket ours is a 54 but it only measures 52 and 7 8 but even 52 and 7 8 would be too big of a, a measurement for this tooth bar the reason being the tooth bar has tabs that mount to the bucket they've got little fingers that slide up and then they've got these tabs on the end and they got to go in here well they can't go in here if they're that full measurement they're going to hit when you try and push them out they're going to hit that so additionally you need to take into consideration not only the thickness of the steel you need to be on the inside of the bucket when you measure but you can't measure there you need to measure here where this tab is Kubota puts this extra reinforcing tab some tractors do some don't so you need to measure the, the smallest distance inside your bucket. Now some people will have a fractured bucket and they'll come back in and they might not have that tab. They might weld a whole piece of steel in there. Well you need to get the inside of that one to the inside of the other side of your bucket. So you know they might do a reinforcement of some kind themselves. But basically what you want to do is get from this inside tab, put your tape measure right there and you want to come down here and you want to measure from the inside of that tab and I'm measuring to the inside of this tab and I have got uh, 52 and 1 8 well uh, you would want to drop back to 52 that's the nearest quarter inch measurement so I would order a piranha tooth bar based on 52 inches even though I've got 52 and an eighth they want the closest quarter inch and I can't go over because it wouldn't fit so I have to go the closest quarter inch less than the actual measurement so 52 and an eighth, an eighth of an inch over 52. I'm going to go to the closest quarter inch measurement, which is 52. Okay, we've already got our tooth bar. We've already been through the ordering process and all these measurements. And we're going to do an install video, but we thought we'd go ahead and do this uh, how to measure video first. And so I want to give you a little example of why this measurement needs to be less than the width of your bucket. As you can see, it's fitting up good and snug on the uh, cutting edge just like they would describe it to be a good tight fit it fits up there really good uh, but over on the ends you want it to be loose so that you can shove this thing in here otherwise if it's dragging on this bucket if there's a little bit of a warp or something which typically they will be over time uh, you know if you use them before you get the tooth bar then they're allowing a little bit of uh, space here even like right there I can get that in between and this is about an eighth of an inch thick these are made of malleable steel and when you drill your hole and bolt it to the side of this bucket this is designed to pull to the sides easily I mean not super easy but easy enough that it will bend before this bucket will bend and it's going to lock down to that bucket and uh, and hold the tooth bar in place you don't want to put any washers or spacers in there either but we'll get to that in the uh, installation video which will follow this video in the near future so that's basically you know why you want this extra space so that you can get that tooth bar on there without difficulty of this thing and having to bend it in so you can slide it in uh, I read some reviews and I've watched a few videos and one guy said he didn't want his loose he wanted it tight so he purposefully told them the wrong measurement then when he got it he literally had to bend the arms a little bit because he couldn't get it in there or the mounting tabs so you want to follow their instructions they're there for a reason these guys it's clear they know what they're doing this is a heavy duty bar and i am really looking forward to running this thing i think it's going to really improve the tractor this is a fairly new bucket it's not worn bad if you happen to have an older bucket a lot of times the edges will get worn down so if you've got a badly worn cutting edge on your bucket uh what they suggest you do is take a picture from overhead showing that cutting edge so they can see how it's tapered off and how much uh damage it has and they can actually build a custom bar to accommodate for that uh, worn out edge and uh, you can contact them either through phone calls or they have a email that you would be ordering the tooth bar through and you can send that picture to them through that email 
and then they'll let you know if they need more details. So for any of you with questions, I hope this video has helped you uh, realize why they want the dimensions they do and, and how to get them. Uh, and I gotta say, this bar is phenomenal. We're gonna do a follow-up video, sh video showing the actual installation, which is pretty simple, just drilling some holes. And then we're gonna do a review video on it where we actually take it out and use it. And we'll probably compare it. We'll do some work with a bucket first and then try and repeat that work with this tooth bar and see what the different effects are on the same soil on our property out on the homestead. So uh, check back and if you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.